What's up guys, welcome back to Virtual Reality. Finally, we have a VR benchmark tool. That's what I really need and this is totally awesome. So you can compare different PCs to one headset or one PC to different headsets. And this is really awesome, we get a um, benchmark um, value at the end of the game and then you, we can compare it even on the leaderboard. Yeah, so the game is by Stonebrick Studios and it's totally for free. Yeah, I would not game, I would say software <laughs> and it's totally for free and uh, Stonebrick Studios also made, uh, it's one person and he also made uh, Cube VR, this uh, open world um, crafting, exploring, uh, building game and you can check both the software and the game in the description below. So I will show you how the software works and then I will compare four different headsets on my PC, Valve Index, Oculus Link, Oculus Quest and Oculus Rift S and the Pimax 8K. So yeah, that's what it is. My name is Voodoo. You can find everything about VR and AR on this channel. Why do I have so many headsets? Because I do hardware, reviews, comparisons, news events for you guys. <laughs> Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgoes VR, Oppermann Events, Saronix, Andy Defelser, VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the benchmark and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay guys, and let's check it out then. So I already opened Steam VR, the newest version 1.9.30 with the cool new uh, user interface here and I opened the Open VR benchmark software. So then it tells us uh, already that um, the, the values, the results are designed to be below 90 FPS because the, the benchmark really stresses your PC to the maximum. <laughs> so it doesn't um, show the real FPS that you have would have in the game. It's only a compar comparison value. So here you can see the results are meant for comparing how much faster one CPU or GPU is in VR compared to another one or for comparing rendered expenses between different headsets. That's really good. So I understand and then we have our stuff here. So it's already recognized our Valve Index that is connected to the PC and also the refresh rate, you can see I, I choose 80 here and also my PC, I have RTX 2080 Ti and the 9900K CPU and stuff and yeah, then yeah, you can also check out the leaderboard here. There's of course only my, uh, um, <laughs> my value, you can even make it public your name and now it's it's public you can also delete your entry and then uh, after some days after release there will be a lot of more um, stuff to compare and then you can see does my PC has any problems in um, comparison to other PCs and here only you also have the official dis discord here. And uh, this this um, stuff here is not for free it's a DLC that you uh, have to pay but the program itself is for free. So I would say I show you the, the benchmark here. And um, this is a scene of Cube VR, the, the open world game. <clears throat> and uh, it's loading now and here you see it. Sorry if the picture is now a little bit stuttering because uh, the, the PC is, yeah, burning now. <laughs> and the benchmark runs like 60 seconds. You can see that here. You can see the frames per second. So if you actually would play the real Cube VR game, you would have much more than, than this uh, 40 or 50 FPS, of course. And you can also see the, the frame time here. Very interesting, very interesting. And um, yeah, it shows different scenes with more textures and, and whatever stuff they, they see here. Really good to compare, I would say, right? And uh, yeah, let's wait this, uh, this 10 seconds here and then we get a cool result that I will uh, show you as well. So five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. And we should see the results now. Here we go. And as you can see, my Valve Index has a result of uh, like 46 frames per second and it also shows the 1% low and 0.3% low. That's the lowest value I had in this benchmark. 
And now we can export that as an image to send friends or whatever. And um, we can also use that for the leaderboard as well. This is really cool, isn't that? And now let's do the first benchmark with four different headsets. So as you can see, I will use my 2080 Ti and 9900K CPU. And I will compare now the Valve Index Oculus Link, Oculus Rift S and the Pimax 8K. And then we will check out the results. Okay guys, that was the benchmark and here we have the results. And this is really interesting because some things are expected and some not. So for example here, uh, this is the Pimax headset. Uh, the, the Pimax driver um, sends a wrong name to, uh, to SteamVR, so it's recognized as HTC Vive MV, whatever. <laughs> this is a Pimax 8K and you see the resolution here. So the resolution you see here is not exactly the native resolution, but it's a good value. Um, in the range of the, I would say in the range of the native uh, resolution, it's it's the same with all the headsets. So as you can see, the, this is the Oculus Quest via Link. It's recognized as Rift uh, S, that, that's it. <laughs> you cannot change that, of course. And it has a higher resolution than the real Oculus Rift S. That's the truth. The, the Quest has a higher resolution as the Rift S. And you see that here. And then the Index has a higher resolution than both of them. But then the index has a higher result in, in the benchmark than the Oculus Quest, for example, with lower resolution. Why is that? So if you consider the Valve Index only needs Steam VR, no other software. The Oculus Rift S and Quest and Link needs an additional software and that produces some overhead and, extra, and needs extra performance. So this is why the result of the Oculus Link is lower than Valve Index. Very, very interesting. So, uh, and, and this one was expected. I mean, the, the Pimax runs here on 3684 by 3116 resolution. This is ultra high resolution. And of course the, the um, benchmark value is much lower here. That's the truth that's expected. However, to tell you that again, this is not the real frames per second that you will see in the GameCube VR where the benchmark is based on. So if I play Cube VR with the Pimax 8K in this resolution, I get much higher FPS than 16, of course. This is only a benchmark that, uh, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that stresses the PC extremely and uh, this is the compare, the, the value that you can compare. Really, really awesome. However, you can also change the value to everything you like. So if you want to, to check the Pimax 8K at 30% Steam VR super sampling with, with, for example, a GTX 1080 and the RTX 2080 Ti, then you can do that. It's no problem. The benchmark runs all that stuff. And this is really <coughs> good. You can compare, compare one PC to different headsets and different headsets to one PC or, yeah, or the other way around, I would say. <laughs> I mean, many PCs to one headset. So <laughs> if, if you have a, 
6600K or 6700K with the Valve Index or a 9900K with the, with the Valve Index and stuff. Really good to compare. Yeah, guys, I hope you liked it. The only thing I could complain is that Windows Mixed Reality headsets don't really work with this uh, <clears throat> with this tool because, but it's not the fault of OpenVR Benchmark. The problem is that the Windows Mixed Reality drivers uh, give a wrong value for 100% resolution to SteamVR. So, for example, the HP Reverb has a resolution of something like 1,500 or what. Uh, by 1600 or what and this is not even close the native resolution and this is a problem about the driver so you you have for, when you want to compare the mixed reality headsets you have to um, use a manual override and then choose a resolution that is close to the native resolution by yourself uh, yes, that's it. Really awesome. So the game is based on Cube VR, as I told before. And if you want to check out Cube VR, this is a really good open world crafting, building, exploring game. Then you can find the link under the video as well. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya. Voodoo